All right, Fred. What's what your doing? name? What are we doing first? We are stripping down one pile of crap forward. This is, how do you like this lock? Did you take a picture of this one? Is this the original equipment for 58 only? Who made that lock? Oh, that's a good one. And lock. then we got that thing over there to get rid of too. I already loosened up the seats, pulled out a steering box already. If you don't know it yet, it's Father's Day and we're spread around. No fathers around here. You know if this thing's got gas in it? It smells like it does. Well, freaking gas tank, empty or full, will smell like it has gas in it. Okay. Good. I'm glad I knew that. Is that one of those unsafe gas tanks? I suspect we probably ought to take this out and lighten it up. Oh, okay. I'm just going to take get this door off. Take Looks like off. some half-inch bolts. Fred is in the big movement parts first. Oh, man, a piece of crap. You, you got to take a crap. It's a piece of crap. Oh, a piece of crap, okay. Zip gun's behind you. You're dark. Fred's dark. You wouldn't think you need a light out in the sun, would you? The sun? You wouldn't think you would need a light in the sun. I don't think light makes any difference. There goes the light. How'd the light? Light makes no difference, Fred. I think if you're mixing light with dark, I mean, it's not gonna... Is that why I don't film with the crap? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, don't break that. Oh, it works good. We're gonna mark it so we know where to put it back? No, don't need to do that? Thank you. Of, uh, right there. I used to have a flashlight in my pocket. I don't need a flashlight. This is you can stick the damn thing in the back of the hole. Fred needs lube. <coughs> so I'll get you a fresh can of lube. Fresh can of lube. Okay, lube her up. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna give her this long extension.
out. It's out. It's out. Never mind. It's out. Speaker wire is good to go. It's pretty good. Oh, the steering box. What can I get for the steering box, Rob? Um, about 46 cents for the weight of it. I was going to keep the steering column, now I like that part. 46 cents for the weight of it. Yeah. 46 cents we can get for that? Maybe 12 cents. I don't know. 12 cents. Save these chains. Find some change in the truck so we made more money already. Okay, hardware. I just like using that blue box there. See these things I don't care about. Do How about this chain to hold the back? Yeah, this though. piece of crap. Joe's going to be late. Really? You mean somebody's not going to show up or somebody would? Yeah, that's that. Uh, Where's that noise? You're making a mess. Man, this seat's heavy. Get off every bolt on the floor. Take that seat belt off of there. I find a condenser we can do a tune-up. Have those be safe. Not safe. Where do I put in this seat? Here's that steering shock for your Jeep. Goes down the line out of the way as well. Close. Yeah, that's a good one. We got the good steering oh, wheel. Crap, this thing weighs like 30 pounds. And then we got the used steering wheel. How much is the way, Fred? Much box crap though. Well, we're going to sell that seat, that's valuable stuff. Where's this going to Ford? Oh, is that the dumbass that filled on for the shop? He didn't come back for it. We got some new twelve dollar tail lights. Look at that. There's a valuable, in I found some money, Fred. I got a quarter. We're making money in the steering box, Bryce. Now we're making money. This one lose too? The Boy, seat? I to put together with a damn. I spent a whole night on doing all this stuff in here. You gonna do the bottom of those? Yeah, I want to damage the wiring on this. That's a good spot. That's 
That's like classic. There, I saved the warrant harness for it. That's like classic. It's brand new, I bought it. What do you mean you bought it? I bought the damn thing, I had some brakes on the director. I actually did work on this truck. I drove, I drove this truck, you know. Yeah, around the block. Did you undo those yet? No, I do it further around the block. It handles like crap on a freeway. It wobbles real bad. Got a good view of your butt. Go down with the goods over there. How's the base in this seat? Just as freaking heavy. Just as heavy? Fred don't like the base of the seat. No, I didn't say I didn't like it. It's like ridiculous. What was that extra fart I heard? You think Arkin, that's overbuilt? Arkin spiders, man. Is that overbuilt? I don't know, but it's heavy. It's dark in here. And the light's on, too. Look at this. We got a nice interior, though. This truck looks really good until you go underneath things. There's actually a footboard back here. I couldn't believe that. Oh, look at that. There's actually a floor over there. We don't have it over here. Here's the steering column. Actually, this is part of the interior. It belongs in the interior box, which is over here. You have to separate your boxes so you know which one goes where. Now, it's not shovel head, it's just that's Ford. Let's start taking that tank down. Here's our steering column mount. You like that? I put this in there too. Look at the wires on that. Oops. I think we consider this interior. That's some thick ass wire for a dimmer switch. I think I pull the hood now. Damn. It's getting cooler inside of here now with all the crap open. It was fun getting these bolts out the other night. They were all rusted from the top to bottom. Zip ties, good. Originally, it's a 400 2B. Here's the air cleaner lid for our Ford motor. Hey, maybe that motor came out of this truck. One that we're sitting. There's some extra headlights and ears. See, that's why I have a Dodge laying around so you can stack shit on it. We got original headlights. I'll probably get 10 bucks for these. Right. 10 bucks. Are these the same ones? Hey, look at that, the same ones. Extra parts. Here's a link in front end we're not going to use. Look at this piece of shit damn speaker keep coming back. There, I'm putting it down there. The valuable stuff around here. Keep this insurance card in There's my room. roll of tape I was missing. Keep that. Did, I, ha did I have insurance on this vehicle? March of 2008. 2000, is it in my name? Unless your name is Tracy Rivera. That's not me. So I bought it after 2008. Considering this is 18, that's not too bad. That means it's only been sitting for 10 years or so. Yeah, I found another headlight. Nope, 58. Hey, don't lose my paperwork. I might need that someday. That way you know who bought it, who I bought it from, what year it was. I'm gonna keep that just a speaker plate for Pattern like I care about speakers. I do want the paperwork though. Like, give me all that paperwork. V8. Ooh, that's nice. Somebody will probably want that. They got snot rags too. All right. Well, like this. Hang on, hang on. This is the classic glove box here. Is that, is that original '58 Ford? This is like a classic glove box. Look at that. Oh, look, I got missing hardware. There's a mirror mount. Maybe. I don't know what that is. I have to get a bag to hold all this stuff, and there's a nice mirror. This doesn't fit in it by one hand. If you jam it in there enough, it might stay, right? Uh-oh, somebody shortened the video there by a minute. Accidentally closed it. All right, we're going back to Longview. We got work to do. Nice looking speaker. This 
You don't want this valuable piece of crap? Right, so you got to pull the shifter off. Brian doesn't like how I fixed the wiring harness. Yeah, now this piece here looks valuable. I'm going to keep this piece. Fred's trying to steal my clippers. See, this has an end on it, so we might need that for something like a gauge. So we'll keep that piece. I don't care about fuses. The rest of that looks like crap. Here you go, Fred. You know, you want this for your Jeep? You're going to rewire it, you said. You want to rewire it with this? Probably recycle it. I put it in the garbage if I recycle it. Give me a pair of pliers. Just what kind of pliers? Something. That... Here you go. They wouldn't believe the custom mounting of this dash. Are you, are you fixing that, Fred? I'm trying to do it. See, that's a genuine race car shifter there. Oh, yeah, that's T handle. You can't just buy those at Kmart. It's almost as bad as a dumbass that has a pistol grip on freaking this. No pistol grip? No. How come I can't get the light to work in here? Pistol grip ears. Now we can pull the carpet out. Put this shit back out. Oh, stands in the way. Sorry. Fred's throwing things at me. Drop something. I dropped something. Yeah, the truck in the way. Check out this custom mounting up here, this dash, Fred. I like those screws. Man. You, like, you like the mounting system here? How long would that last with me driving? I don't know. We got, I love this, the menagerie of screws they've got. I'm not sure what's holding that in there. Some sheet metal, some regular, some... Yeah, that's pretty nice. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Are we taking this out now? Take no, what out? Screwdriver, Phillips. You take that out. You didn't say Phillips, you said screwdriver. Hey, that's my nice snap-on Oh, there's that radio I just disconnected. I know there's a bunch of speakers that go with that radio. I don't know why anybody wants a radio in a vehicle for. Oh, he did it number 12 freaking Phil, uh, Phillips. Yeah, Fred is picky. He didn't say small Phillips. Jeez, no. it's hard to get good help anymore. Screw heads. Here, I'm going to screw head him. Here, I'm going to... Look at the size of these screws they put in here. Number 5? No, number... Number 15? Number 12. And ain't number 10 or 8. Number 12? The camera says the battery's already dead. We just started filming. You haven't started filming? I've been filming. He's going to. Is this the big one? That should be one foot small, the big one. Now, the Speedo did work on this, so I'm glad you connected. Do you think all of these screws are needed? My leg back here. Anyway, what are we filming over here? Anything important? I can't even see what we're filming, so it must be good. We're recycling screws. You can recycle all the screws? Do you think you work for the military? Because they're all stainless. Probably in the Navy. Somebody would steal from the government. 
Oh, look at all, oh, look at that custom tape job there. Oh, I think the speedo was not working on this one. What do you think, Fred? I think the speedo didn't work? That's pretty good wiring, Fred. I'm asking myself, what are we doing? Oh, look at this. Oh, you got to take a picture of this. Uh, I didn't do it. Check out this over here. Is that light on yet? Yeah, it's on. You just can't see. What do you got over there? Well, I looked at them. There you go. <laughs> This is the hole they cut. They made a bracket. I some my square box. bracket here to go back in the hole. Got yeah, my dad. Look at them ratchet. How the hell did they get it out of there? Like a pair of pliers or something? I don't know. Needle nose. Why are you cutting that? That's your wiring harness. What, this one you here? don't know what goes to where. You know what? I bet you I can figure it out. I Which don't know. speaker wire goes to where? Those aren't speaker wires, those are operational wires. Okay, well, How are you going to know? If I go like that, I'll keep that, I'll keep that. Uh, How are you going to know? Uh, let's see here, I'm going to keep that for hot water. I'll keep the light. Oh, here's an idiot light we almost lost. Oh, there's two of them here. Those must have went right to here. Yeah, right there. I'll keep those. Okay, there's a splice right here, so I don't want any of that. I don't need that splice. Well, you broke the damn thing. Well, there's another cut right here, so we'll just get rid of that. Why am I keeping a cut wire? I don't know. Wires. Why are you keeping crap wire? Okay, what else can I cut off? I don't like this long one. We'll just cut it off, too. Don't keep that your wire, you dumbass. Okay. I got the wire and how to squeeze it down, just important parts. Yep. Now I gotta take this out and get it rebuilt. Don't want to keep it. Oh, here's another cut wire right here. Yeah, cut that one off. There's no reason to have that big long one there either. Okay, I, I fixed it, Fred. Fred, what'd you do to my wire? You, you ripped out my speaker wire. Oh, what am mm -hmm. I gonna do with this? I'm gonna shorten this up a little bit for you. Give me those cutters. Oh, you can't have my cutters. I'm using them. This is genuine. I bet you this works with those speakers I threw down the street. It'll work with just about anything if you have to hook it back up again. It's a good thing. I got rid of those speakers already. I'll throw them in the trash. Hey, look at the wiring go up to the... Well, that's a piece of glass, Fred. Ooh, you might not want to break that. It might be worth something. It'd be a bitch to have to cut that again. Why the hell's he got a fire extinguisher in there? There is. Did it work? Yeah, look at four different, three different types of screws. Maybe he was expecting something from his poorly assembled I think stuff. screws, Fred. Sounds like a personal problem to me. That's right. Very personal. It's got to be better than wire. Can I put these with the other pile of wires? Well, right now I'm fixing a dash so we don't lose it. I terribly broke my new dash. Don't break my lens. It isn't even in there. Look. All what? the pieces, all the plastic that used to hold it in. Those, those gauges are working. They're not anymore. Look, all the plastic that holds it in place well, is gone. Some of the stuff actually worked, Fred. This doesn't look. Just because it's not hooked up under the thing doesn't mean it doesn't work. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? I'm gonna lose some of those gauges. Are those, you serious? Those are look. Good. look at those. Gut. Those are nice looking gauges. I like them. Yeah, if it weren't for all the plastic melting inside of them. What do you need plastic for? I don't need no plastic. Hey, look at this, man. That's a classic there. That footprint. Move the move the carpet out of the way. This is a classic here. This is even better. Look at this. High level. We got a brake lever here and a brake lever here. Oh, dude. It's been disabled. And when you put both feet on it, it still didn't stop. <laughs> well, obviously, with the stick shift in here. You were standing on that as much as you could. You still couldn't stop this pile of crap. Once again, why are we working on this thing? This piece of junk? Because it's a valuable Ford. Valuable to for what? A junkyard? It's right up there with that Jeep you bought. Oh, what a Jeep is. Yeah, 
saving your, uh, your wiring over there in your receptacle. So the, the Jeep engine's in. I'm driving it right now. Got a trial in it yet? No, no, I got break-in oil now. Uh, I haven't gone 500 miles yet. I haven't gone 10 miles, 20 <laughs> miles. You're breaking, you're freaking driven breaking oil. Oh, you got that in there? Okay. Really? You don't remember that? No. Anyhow, so before I could actually get the damn thing running, I got it all together, started. It was over running, over racing, figured out I forgot one bolt, put that in. And then the dang steering box leaked like a sieve. And you can't find a dang bushing or a seal set. So I had to buy a new one of them, or we don't want reman one of those. And then the freaking air conditioning compressor goes out, smokes the clutch. <laughs> okay, the air compressor smoked your clutch. I thought you no, had the automatic. air conditioning compressor in my automatic. my automatic Jeep with. Ah, oh, I can't put that right in my face, Coach Fred. Well, here's the missing socket for my dash. You think there's a screw in here to take out somewhere? Yep. Yeah. So they don't so see said before, air conditioning, cruise control, and... Let's see, there's no screw there. Oh, there's a screw Automatic here. air conditioning, cruise control. I've got a Jeep or a Ford. Oh, my Ford. Oh, there's a damn... Jeep. I think you got a problem with bees, man. I got bees in here? Well, you had a five. I have some, uh, the Ford truck back there had the, uh, the wasp nest in the door open. That was fun. So these guys did some classic work here. There's a speaker hole right there with a speaker in it. But they also drilled a bunch of holes for a speaker there. Yeah, is that how you get this out front? I think you can do that. Okay. I still can't see yet. So. It sounds like a personal problem. I just mean. have to seal, feel up under there for screws. I can't tell what he's got oh, in there. This? The Phillips doesn't seem to work. How does this glove box get closed? It closes easy. It just doesn't stay closed. That has the, uh, that probably has the uh, number on it. Well, it's not going to come out. No, leave it alone. It'll be all right. It doesn't have to go anywhere. Oh, we've got to leave it alone. Is there a pin number on there somewhere? Well, that would be a correct statement. Serial number. What kind of piece of crap hardware is this? Kind of ass backwards, upside down. Looks like a popper, but what do you think he's got in here, Fred? I think he's got. Stretching the paint. The original paint? No, I think that dripping stuff there is not original paint. Well, <coughs> like this roof just came down. Oops, it fell off. Oh, this has a mechanical gauge on it, so we know that's a good one. We got two mechanical gauges, so we know these work. So we got to protect these. What? Yeah, these are mechanicals. Just cut them out of there. So these water and whatever that one work. I knew oh, the gauges would be worked. water and oil. I knew the gauges work, so okay, so we don't want we don't want to destroy those. We gotta be careful about that. Here's, here's your sticker here. Watch your sticker. Oh you ripped out my air conditioning hose. Fred, that was my custom regulation there. Special paint. That's why you don't have that in there, so you can come in from this direction and get this out. No, we're not going to get this door off, right? Why not? Because you can't get to all the... You can't get to it? can't get to all the boots. All the nuts. The boots. Uh, we're going to have to work around that problem. Yeah, this guy worked in a... Must have worked in a Navy uh, yeah, shop go. where he's got, got the, all these got the stainless steel out. screws with their... Could be somewhere else. All right, where's this one go to? What goes to your, that's your defroster. I can't see up in there, Fred. Why do you want, why do you need your defroster? Why do you need to take that out? Because you said you wanted it out. I didn't say it wasn't out. Oh, you want it. You did. Why are we bombing with it? I didn't know you had air conditioning in here. If I keep turning it enough, I don't have to take the clamp off. I think I broke the dash. Oh, that was the glove box. Oh, there's no money in there, Fred. Can't, that dash is just, that's incredible. Here's my VIN number. So I can change the truck by changing the glove box. It's a good thing we're keeping the glove box and just changing out everything else. This goes with the dash. Wouldn't that be a smarter thing to keep the glove box and find another truck that actually works? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because that would make sense to me. I was going to roll a Dodge truck underneath it. 
All right. There you go. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah. <coughs> so you like that custom uh, there? I don't know what that is. That's a piece of crap. Yeah, this has got some customization going on the footboards of this truck. My what? Stone. Well, no wonder I'm getting so much gas fumes in here. Yeah, I can't put that in there. I got too much crap in there already. Put that over there. Whew, smells like rotten gas. Something rotten in there. There's a plug back underneath there somewhere. I gotta go find. All right, let's get the dumpster diving going on here. Oof, stinks in this cab. Yeah, we just took, we just took that. Why don't you put the thing back on? I have to smell it. Give me the damn. All right, we're gonna rip these boards out and give some stinky gas. We're back. <laughs> this is racing gas and it's green. Look at that. That's some high test. That's a pretty nasty looking. How much is in there now? Oh, it's just barely going. And the bucket's not even leaking on the floor yet. That's even a plus. My hand does have some fumes on it though. Nasty That's the same color crap that came out of the military bike when I drained it out. Green. How many years it's been in there? Uh, more than one. Well, 2008 you bought it. Fred, you were working on this, weren't you? Some of this stuff isn't actually eaten through, surprisingly. Other parts are. It's got some nice rank don't snow and gas here, let me tell you. How much gas we got? We got a six gallon bucket? I'm already in trouble. I gotta breathe this crap. I need to find another bucket. Look at the corrosion over there. That's the frame wheel, I think. Yeah, a different frame wheel. That's the main frame. Oh, how much we got? Oh, we're still good. We got half a bucket. No, it's still pissing like crazy, can't you hear it? That thing's still coming in. Alright. We'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, we got the shifter out. We got the uh, this side of the footboard cover off. Oh, here's a cab bolt I couldn't get out. What? Put it out of my screwdriver. My cab bolt I couldn't get out. I don't think it's doing much holding the cab down though. There might be something still attached, we're not sure. So this is the tranny cover. Alright, so we got a fuel tank to take out of here. Here's our shifter. Oh that is oh that is a humdinger there. It's this classic. That's a classic piece of crap. We'll put it right next to the tranny so we won't lose it. Where's the half inch socket? Oh there it is. Right there. Put a little spray over there might help. Yeah. All right, we're gonna pull that tank out and work on that other flooring there. Be back. Well, here we are. We managed to get the tank out. All the uh, overlay of the floorboards that oh, was my crappy pizza. The floorboards are bad. Once you just put a bunch of plate over. Made a mess of it. That actually is able to drain the tank out of that little hole there, which is pretty interesting. Now we're over here pulling. What are we pulling now? We're trying to pull the headlight buckets, pull the grill, pull the fender, because we don't have help to get the hood off yet. We've got the inside of the cab pretty well undone. I think a cab just sitting on the bed. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Isn't it? We had to wait. Oh, I almost broke the flashlight. I need that. Oh, yeah. I've got some hidden hardware somewhere I can't see. It's hard to believe. Hidden hardware somewhere? Somewhere. Hidden hardware. Can't tell what holds the headlight in. You look at another bucket over there, you might know. I'm going to guess there's a bunch of different ones. I can't see. At least two on each side. 
This had a ground wire on this. That must be important. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty good. I something got on the bottom. Got something on the bottom? Yeah, it's probably supposed to be two on the bottom. Oh. Instant heartburn. You know, that's some crappy pizza I'm buying. I probably ought to upgrade. I wanted to go buy that Papa Joe's. It tasted a lot better. Papa John's. No, Joe's. Not Joe's. I want a Joe, not John. There ain't no Papa Joe. Just Papa John. Papa something. There. Four screws. Hold that in, Fred. Uh, I need some dikes or something. You sure you want to? I guess they didn't make plugs back then. There's some kind of plug in here, but I don't know what it is. There should be a plug hook in the uh, hole in the wires. I'm going to unplug it by cutting the damn thing. Why don't you give me something to cut it? Sure. All right. Thanks. All right. I can unplug it right here if you'd like. How's that going to help me over here? Well, let's just pull the wires through. Look. Look, all you got to do is... There's clips all the way through here. These clips aren't going to go through. They're, they're come out of the bottom. Push yeah, it down. I'm not going to go through over here, Fred. All right, let me go get some cutters. Well, you must have the dikes over there because I don't see them over here. You sure the dikes are not in the bunks? Yo, dikes in the box. Clip off. Okay, if you take every clip off, undo that, then it'll come out of here. That's what I just said. What did I just say? About that close up. Get a close up. Leave it on. Hmm? Is it on? Yeah. Uh, record. What are you doing? Are you doing? Some tape? There. That one just pulled out. Yeah, that one just pulled out. I don't know what this yellow wire is doing. Just turn signal the other way. Oh, sorry about that. In the headlight bucket, Fred. I don't, think, I don't know if they can see that or not. Can they see that? Not when you're at your uh, It goes down here to this turn signal. Just takes turn screws. Are we going to start this up before we pull it? Or pull it? No, I don't think so. Screwdriver. Well, I can see those bolts now I got a bolt. There's definitely original green paint on this truck. That crappy green color up there on the hood? I mean that dark green? Yep, that's the color of it. It's all in here behind the headlight bucket. And there's more hidden screws. Let's see where I see it. Ah. Yeah, that one might break off, that one might break, that one might break. Probably one up there somewhere I can't see. This starts squirting everything, right? Yeah. Got bolts going this way, that way, that way, and coming in this way. Yeah, there's all kinds of bolts. A lot of bolts. That holds the grill on. Something else. Okay. Why didn't just pop up? Put a screwdriver behind it and see if it... Yeah, there's probably some kind of screws behind it. Wires here, so it'll come out eventually. Where's my extension? I need universal tools. Excuse me. Damn pizza. Yeah. Oh, that's some nasty pizza. Okay. Alright, okay. coming around. 